Mama don't get hunched back because he can't get a hip hop with him. Back, Mama, I'm sorry. He's <laughs> alright. I'm pretty pumped. Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are again for the end of season one of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy. Hope you guys are doing incredibly well. I am doing fine too, but a little bit sad because we are coming to the end of season one of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Meg. This one to drop three season has been a very huge one. I must say it has been super exciting, super amazing, a huge journey. We don't intend to end anytime soon. So challenging. Hot and Juicy is a show which brings you true and verified information from the entertainment industry the trending and latest one for that matter and here we are for the end of season one preparing a big season two for your viewing pleasure guys i want to thank you people so very much for the love you showed martin and i thank you so very much guys we felt it we saw it and we appreciate we are grateful thank you for all your likes for all your comments for all your shares guys i mean it was just mad i'm so grateful guys thank you so very much thank you for all those who subscribe to the channel for those who have been following us on our various social media handles we appreciate and there is nothing other is no word that we can say then thank you so very much it is time for us to have a recap or rundown of how season one went down guys watch this enjoy i'll be right back Car from FIFA advises Samuel Leto to withdraw his candidacy as president of Peca Foot and he refuses. For the past couple of weeks, retired Cameroonian and international soccer legend Samuel Leto has been working so hard to take over Peca Foot as the next president and so far has been receiving a lot of support from his fans. Car from FIFA lately summoned Samuel Leto and asked him to drop his candidacy as president of Peca Foot and to join Saidu Bombo Joya in leading the set institution and he refused saying that despite all the challenges coming his way, he would take over Faker Food. According to Samuel Eto, Faker Food has been mismanaged for a very long time now and needs some changes only him can bring, says players deserve to be well treated and has promised to affiliate all players with free coaches with a CNPS so that all of them can be on pension when they retire. Joby calls his fellow colleague rapper Barcero M. Bootman after he mentioned him in one of his critic videos, Jovi severely warned Barcero never to mention his name again in his propaganda, and this led to a serious clash between both rappers. Tagez-moi tous les crevards d'artistes qu'on a au Cameroun là, Abe Mingso, Abe Stanley, tous ces petits misérables minables là, Abe Mingso, Abe Stanley, No, Abe Kiki Kausi, tous ces crevures là. Tagez-moi tous les artistes camerounais que vous connaissez. Et les... Ces crevards de chanteuses de Bikutsi, les conneries pareilles, les macrocistes et tout. Taguez-moi tous ces misérables-là, parce que c'est ce que vous êtes. Encore petit. Si j'étais à Yaoundé, je t'aurais coincé dans un coin, je t'aurais montré ce qu'on appelle un bangando. Tu vois, je t'aurais arraché tes dents-là, one by one. Mais comme je ne suis pas à Yaoundé, les crétins... Jovi did not find this funny at all and immediately reacted. According to Mboko God, Barcero is part of the political problem he has been trying for long to fight in Cameroon and is as much a hypocrite. The biggest burst on the internet lately, guys, is Gael Nganamoy's sex tip scandal, confirming her as a full lesbian. The videos are shocking. Two hours after announcing her resignation from her current position as team manager of the Cameroon Women's National Team, the former Cameroon Women's National Team striker Gael Nganamoit saw her notes being leaked on the internet where she is seen having some moment of intimacy with a woman like her. Jesus Christ. Guys, watch this. What? You know. Uh. <laughs> this took many of Gaia's fans by surprise as they could not believe that their role model was actually a lesbian. And aside her note, we had videos of her former lesbian girlfriend practicing some uncatholic things in Gaia's presence. 
The shocking part from these videos is that Gael feels so comfortable in her sexual orientation. Watch this, guys. Immediately after the scandal, Gaia sued her friend Nomo Brenda Charlie for allegedly leaking the videos. She said she has been friends with Brenda for some time now, for a good number of years, and that during one of her brief stay at her apartment, she forgot some of her valuable stuff there. We had jewelry, dresses, and her tablet, which contained a lot of her personal information and documents. I guess that's from where the sex tape was leaked. So she's pleading with the authorities to apprehend the said Brenda for questioning. Guys, seriously? Which authorities is she talking about? The same authorities refusing homosexuality in Cameroon? Remember Article 347 of the Cameroon Penal Code says anyone caught having sex with someone of the same sex is supposed to be punished with a 6 months to 5 years imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 francs to 200,000 francs. I think this is closely what happened to the popular cross-dresser Shakiro. Now, since it is Gael and Ghana Moeti, do you think the law will prevail? Report says Gael has flown out of the country for reasons only God knows. I heard her mother collapse after hearing that her daughter is a lesbian. Like, she never knew Gael was a lesbian. Anyways, guys, what's your take on this? Let me know in the comment section. Still talking about scandalous events, a 16 years old girl had the biggest disgrace of her life ever. <laughs> this happened in the University of Boya. So a young lady borrowed from her two friends, from one she borrowed a week, from the other she borrowed a watch. I don't know exactly for how long she bought it, nor the terms of the agreement. From this video, I saw two ladies attacking the other. So they surprised her on the day, I think she was writing exams that day. So the one who bought her a wristwatch forcefully removed it, and the one with the wig equally removed it by force. What a shame, what a disgrace, what an embarrassment. I don't know who was wrong here or who was right. It is time for us to bring in our guests to discuss on this because this topic is extra hot. My guest for today is a super talented Cameroonian comedian. He goes by the name Tenzo. Let's welcome him. Hey Tenzo. Yo, Miss Beng. What's up, how you doing? No, I'm good, I'm good. Hope you're good too. Hope you're good. I'm fine too. Welcome on Hot and Juicy. Ah, it's my pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for having me as well. Thanks okay. for having me. Talking about scandalous events, especially this one which happened at the University of Boya with this young girl having the disgrace of her life. What do you think about such? <laughs> okay, actually, <laughs> the thing is, uh, when, you, when you want to borrow stuff, Actually, you should know the kind of people that you borrow stuff from. You understand? Because some kind of friend, they will, hey, as they borrow, so they just go announce, announce, announce. Or if you if you just vex them, you just say, give my team, give my team. You understand? And I should say that girl run him up in her class. You understand? No, he run him up because that friend. Your friend say, ah, move my wig, you he, confused. So you, you see, but, but that was not cool. That was not cool, though. Whatever problem they had, she would have waited, then you can settle it later. Then you get that CB, you understand? <laughs> I mean, what's even the issue with all this begging, begging? Can't girls just learn how to be contented <laughs> with what they have? What's that? begging, begging, begging issue. You worry. I, I go, you go hard for stop it. You go hard for stop because the whole streets now are borrow, 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 borrow. Every so put in a blast that get. Say go borrow week. Then two they borrow, 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 borrow. Now borrow some don't more funny now. Borrow, borrow, borrow the whole place <laughs> alive. No easy, no easy. Even about managing and stuff, Masari. You manage how we did, but you see some shoe you really this. You understand? You are playing for your program. You beg your man now. But it depends on the pool you go borrow from. Because some pool they do, you borrow as, as you post the picture, pull one of like the picture, you just can't tell. You say, hey, I'm my shoe, I'm my shoe. You understand? What's your advice to both parties? <laughs> The only advice we give the, 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 both the borrower and the borrowee, you understand? The person you go borrow, know the kind of person you go borrow from. You need to meet a friend and know you and understand on yourself, some level, you understand? See, when man enter school, a Beyonce, they come all and marry, marry 100, really back 100 for my 17. You see, I know. 
So you need to know your friend the way you borrow from. Yes. And it's in that and when you borrow from person, you get to be nice with that person till you refund the thing. You understand? You don't go run your mouth for person you don't borrow a shoe. You go vex move the shoe for straight. You understand? And the man too where you go move shoe at least consider if you don't vex na ha go back for house don't even fight. Then for day don't move the thing myself. It's embarrassing. <laughs> now all the advisor have been given because a warrior. Oh, thank you for enlightening us, Tenzo. Thank you for coming okay, to okay, my okay, show. Okay, Miss Ben, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I go by the name Tenzo, official Tenzo ninety six. That's my Instagram handle. Um, people know me as Enlighten Me Daddy. The Enlightenment Daddy. You call you call fears. Stay there in the dark. Let me enlighten you. <laughs> what the actual fear? <laughs> what the wow? What's a good good? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> you understand? Okay, guys, you can follow Tenzo on all social media handles. He's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, official Tenzo. It's not wrong for an artist to demand to be paid for a collaboration here in Cameroon. I mean, this is showbiz, but there are many ways to do the biz. Can you accept to pay bright price for someone who is dead? Athletes representing Cameroon in Tokyo for the 2020 Olympic Games did not grab any medal, but at least the one best outfit. Can we put our hands together for that? Is Manibela toasting Stanley Enno or is it the call for collaboration? Cameroonian Bikosi artist in one of her recent posts shared what looks like a toast to Cameroonian artist Stanley Enno. She says, and I quote, I care less if you are my senior or junior brother. Tell me, are you married or engaged? If you aren't yet, I have an interesting proposal for you. Yes, this matter way at the talk and so now some very, very serious matter way they go on now. So for Boya, when I want to get houses there for Boya these days, it then like now when they go the incantate when they fast for 40 days, 60 nights, say me this crisis you know finish so that when I go to make money non stop, but when I see that you when I do so that thing there for hair fire. The BET Best Hip Hop Awards nominations came out last week, September 9, and it's a pity to notice that there is no Cameroonian artist on the list. This has been going down for long, and it's becoming alarming and cause for concern. Girl, I am more than you, more than you. Two steps ahead of you, pass you. My rap flow waterfall, go get below was just a clue. Uh, you the envy me, right? If you want be like me, like me. Any dingo you knock, make you no be with you from go fund me. Jamais, jamais, Mr. Leo. Mr. Leo. I be born for your next see me, you. see me you. Double your troubles, cut, cut your light, and eo. Is Jesus finally coming back as promised? I mean, the craziest thing that happened on the internet this week is this 10 years old child who is allegedly pregnant and is claiming to be carrying Jesus. I mean, don't ask me the Jesus she's talking about. And don't even ask me if MJ Gabriel visited her. So according to this adolescent, it's a miracle. She claims she had no intimacy with a man and she says she's going to name her child Jesus as she insists it's going to be a boy. Check this out. I sure say so you'll be pregnant. What if you tell them? And then say a miracle. And even my support me, may I just go sleep. It was a great thing when he won season two of the Biggie reality TV show. We all celebrated with him. It was a massive joy for everybody, especially for his fans. But it became very tragic when we received news on the 23rd of December last year 
that he was involved in a ghastly accident together with his manager along the Tiko Dwala Highway. It was very tragic. It was unbelievable. He was moving along with the car he received from the Biggie as a gift for winning their season two reality TV show. Guys, I'm talking about the artist Fish, who tragically left us on the 23rd of December through an accident together with his manager. Fish was a young Cameroonian artist, extremely talented, I must say. He was passionate, full of energy. He was a versatile artist. It's rather sad or rather unfortunate that he left us so soon. But he will forever be remembered through his music and the joyful moment he left us with. May his gentle soul and that of his manager rest in perfect peace. Our sincere heartfelt condolences to his family once more and to his fans. <laughs> You can let me know in the comment section, guys, which gist from this season one, according to you, was the hottest. Our top 10 countdown was epic, was really, really epic because from your reactions, we knew it was a great one. We had a lot of upcoming artists who popped up with great bangers. A-list artists or established artists came true too. So let's have a top 10 countdown of the biggest releases from last year. J'ai passé l'époque de la cour de récré Où l'on se cachait pour s'embrasser I'm far from Unity Palace, but also far from the ghetto. Far from dumb place where I dare you need for smart dope. I'm far from average, I live next to the best. I'm far from broke, but I don't think I'm close to wealth. I don't hear about for long, so I give a yama more. Flex budget any hard, I want to be in a law. Why I've been a kataku, carry hell a kiriku. If you see my call, then I pala bamboo. Chat, gang, Facebook, gang, WhatsApp, gang, TikTok, gang, Thriller, gang. Cause I've been a commando for your love. I know we can day with your love. Let me be your body. Okay, guys, thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Thank you a million times, guys. We couldn't have been here without your support. Thank you for all the massive love, for the shares, for everything we appreciate. We are grateful. Season two will be hotter than this. Trust me, guys. Just keep anticipating. While waiting, I will leave you with uh, behind the scenes of how season one was shot. It looks something like this. Oh God. Let me take from bed line. Then along the Tico. Tico Dwala. Along the Tico Dwala Road. Tico Dwala Highway. Can I take it back? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to cut me. What do you want to say? More on Biggie Studios. Sorry. Okay, more on Biggie. Yes, another part. <laughs> Who does that, guys? Watch this. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Thank you so very much, guys. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. I love you all.